So we've talked about many of these stories before, but this story is um, is a recent one that came uh, or actually, no, it's a recent one I saw. But a teenager, uh, a teacher pregnant, accused of sex with eighth grader, eighth grader, was accepted by her boy's family. Um, now, is this the girl who was? I think I, I was reading into this a little bit and correct me if I'm wrong on this story, but was this the girl who was basically like she was arrested, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then the details. Well, maybe, maybe I want to spoil the story. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't don't spoil the shit. Um, so, yeah, she got arrested. I think she got sentenced to like 10 years or something like that. She's 24 years old. What do you know what the charge was? I, I mean, I'm sure it's like child. like. Uh um sex, uh, child sexing or something like yeah that. whatever i mean she got knocked up by this dude so let's see uh i'm not sure but courts court documents show the boy's parents didn't did not object to her, their relationship and she told a school district investigator they were very supportive and excited when she disclosed her her pregnancy this is like a modern day mary Kay letourneau yeah well i don't think his parents were happy with it that they were just filipino boy I think he was, was he Filipino or was he like Samoan? Something like that, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, very different cultures. I don't mean to say something like that to imply that they're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, here are some other points from the story. Uh, she would tell the neighbors that the boy was her brother. She moved the boy and his father into her home and pretended she was dating the father. How old was the boy? 13. Uh, Whoa. She brought she bought groceries and paid phone bills for the boy's family. Uh, and this kind of explains things. She's 24, right? Her six year old daughter called the boy dad. Whoa, dude, that's wild. Mm -hmm. All right. Six years old is kind of kind of old for a for a 24 year old mom. <laughs> so she probably had some, you know. <laughs> yeah. Now, can I ask you an important question? Yeah. <clears throat> Because this is a trend with these stories quite frequently. Do I get sized? More or less, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. She's kind of, she's kind of, she looks like, um, like, uh, can you pull her picture up for the people who are? Well, watching? this is her, this is her, yeah, this is her picture. Oh, no, all right, it's already up there. Sorry. Uh, this is her, um, I don't know, it's probably from her Facebook. <laughs> She doesn't look that silly, dude. She looks kind of like a um, kind of like a, a gross Jennifer Tilly, you know, um, like a younger, grosser Jennifer Tilly. Yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. Um, I mean, she doesn't look, but but this this photo that we're looking at here, you know, she's got full makeup on, her hair all did up. It looks like maybe that's a case of like best case scenario type of photo. Yeah, I mean. But here's the thing. I'm not I'm not factoring in how how cool it would be to have a thing with your your teacher. Plus, you don't we can't really tell how big those thangers are. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. I mean? Yeah, we don't know how big those paws. Yeah. Cuz yeah. if she's got big thangers, then obviously yeah, different she, story. She got big thangs popping. But every time I see these stories, I'm like, first of all, I'm blown away by how like normal looking the teachers are. And I'm also blown away by, like, you and I were 13, dude. I remember being in eighth grade. I didn't even know how to talk to girls my age, let alone fucking adult women, you know? Oh God, dude. Uh, I was like, like I, I was texting a buddy just the other day, and I was like, I was like, who is that hot ass cheerleader uh, or, or cheerleading coach um, when we were at, at Fairfax? And he was like, I think it was Miss Georges. And he goes, and I go, Miss Georges, Miss Gorgeous Georges. Yeah, that sounds right. And he goes, but there was another one too. And we were racking our brains because those are the days where like you kind of cement yourself as a pervert in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Hot hot chick teachers. I mean, yeah. there's nothing better. Like in and this this lady had just massive busties. Really? Oh, you. You got her. You got her like full name or? Um... No, no, I don't think I do. <laughs> I can barely remember her last name. All right, Miss Georges. Yeah, she. Who's the friend you were texting? Uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, uh, uh well, you may know him as Don Demarco. Oh, okay. Holla. Okay, I'm gonna hit him up. Mister Sister Fister. Blister till she fisters. Yeah. 
or Fister till she. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to hit him up. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, but can you imagine just like, I, I, I remember being one time I was like, I, I was cool with the, the sports medicine teacher because she listened to the junkies. She was like, yeah, I think she had some sort of connection to them. And, uh, so like I would kind of like hang out with whatever, whatever room she kind of ran after school, I would hang out there. And I, I remember one dude who was, uh, he was like a senior. I was, I was in ninth grade at the time. He was a senior. He was like in the room and he goes, uh, he was talking to her and she said something. He said like something like no shit Sherlock or something like that. And I remember being like, holy fucking shit. This, this guy just fucking cursed in front of this teacher. Like that's insane. In front of this teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Oh, hey, excuse me, Holmes. You can't talk like that in front of, I work construction. Uh, and I was like, holy fucking shit. Like, I couldn't imagine cursing in front of a teacher, let alone fucking hollering, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I don't even know how this shit happens, but it does a lot. Well, and it's, it's, I guess this is like the random exception, but nine times out of 10, when these stories come out, the teacher is hot as fuck. Yeah. And, and so you always go like, well, fuck, first of all, why couldn't that have been me in high yeah. school? Second of all, what what's wrong with her like like what's wrong in her brain something spiraled yeah at the wrong critical point in her life to make her want to be fucking young dudes yeah yeah you're right and um, then again it comes back to one more time why couldn't she fuck me <laughs> yeah when, what's wrong with me <laughs> where was that teacher when i was in high school yeah it's so crazy I it's kind say. of a weird double standard though isn't it like, yeah it is it obviously is. i mean clearly I, we don't see her as a predator but if it was a dude yeah definite predator yeah <laughs> I, I don't want to get into like graphic details of why i think that but you don't want to do it has something to do with predators <laughs> no well, yeah but it has some in my mind it has something to do with the anatomy of intercourse and what men do versus what women do that's all i'll say <laughs> i'm a feminist dude i got two daughters obviously two yeah. jewish daughters dude i'm um, yeah you wake up and you, you in the morning and you go look i'm raising two proud women and um and, and <laughs> no I'm, proud boys yeah no 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 proud boys <laughs> yeah. obviously oh, shit, no, proud dude, boys. I, no politics guys no sports <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you go look i i i just want to be a champion for women every day yeah yeah dude hell yeah but dude here's the other thing though and i know we have to go to the straight here i'm pretty soon but uh that mary Kay latorno kid he kind of got fucked dude like well literally yeah, he, yeah, definitely yeah, got he, fucked, he, yeah. he definitely got fucked but uh figuratively he got fucked because i remember this yeah we talked about like, this before when he yeah when he was fucking old enough to date fucking young 20 year olds or whatever he was you know with uh raising a kid with a f crazy ass 45 year old lady who was way past her prime you know she was kind of nuts looking too but she looked all right in in when he was 13 <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? I, know, I know that's right yeah <laughs> yeah um I so know that's right always a, a give and take in each situation yeah she definitely gave a lot uh oh, that pussy. <laughs> all right dude we gotta go to the straight on richmond john says proud girls yeah that's, that's what i'm calling my girls Pr the proud girls, <laughs> the proud yeah. girls. <laughs> you guys are gonna eat five cereals together every day uh, yeah, <laughs> uh jen montana says usually those teachers have bleached blonde hair yeah yeah you're right i mean they're they are the majority of the time they are good looking dude. yeah i don't know what that's about you know i'll be honest dude i i wish we could see the 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 "Quote unquote victims in every situation, but we can't because You're you know sick, they're dude. they're minors. <laughs> I feel like a lot of time they would be like black and Hispanic kids. I don't know because like black dudes, even at a young age, are not afraid to holler at girls. I do wish I had like our our buddy D Tet. He yeah. used to have this in his Twitter bio. He he would it, it said if I had the confidence of a black man, I'd be unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And I've thought about that literally a million fucking times. Yeah. Like they just, some brothers just have silly confidence and it, it makes you go like, fuck man, I, <clears throat> I envy the shit out of you. 